into Bokashi buckets, right? So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your food, right? You're gonna put it into the barrel and you're gonna open the bag up. You're gonna throw your tomatoes, whatever in there. You're gonna open this bag up and this is called, Bok this is called Bokashi brand. This is just some brand with molasses on it and it's got the microbes in it. You sprinkle that on the, on the uh, food and you close this airtight. And what it does is it ferments it. This is the top quality compost, right? You don't have to have a compost site, right? So if everybody in here had a bucket, we could probably take, we could probably put a ton of food into the soil. So let's go back to Sarah as an example. If she has 400 volunteers that are coming and say they all bought a bucket, right? Mm -hmm. This is five pounds of food, right? That's been fermented. They bring it back to the farm or they put it in their soil. But say a lot of them bring it, half of them bring it back to the farm over here. We put that back into the soil. She'll never have to buy compost again. Never. Ever. And this will outdo anybody's compost in the city. Nobody can produce this. You did that, right? You did that. You contributing to your health. So now, Sarah's garden is gonna have this, what we call, what I'm gonna be promoting is called nutrient dense food, okay? So it's just that simple. You don't have to, and I'm not trying to knock anybody that's making compost like, you know, the, the different composting units that are around the city, not trying to knock them, but they're not gonna be able to produce a quality soil like this, just unless they, you know, make a system like this. This is called fermenting your food waste. When they, the regular compost we make is called oxid, you know, we oxidize it. And it has a lot of free radicals in it. And what does that mean when it's oxidized? It's just like it's, it, it's using, with the oxygen in Yes, it's using oxygen. And what you're doing is you're burning your, your food waste up. So when you burn it up, you're killing off the microbes, right? If you kill off the microbes, now when you put that compost in the soil, the soil has to regenerate that which you put in there, right? And we don't want that. We want it, because you, this right here, the only reason why we exist is because of the microbes that are in our gut. If you think you can exist on this earth without the microbes, you're, not, you're, you're wrong. That's why diabetes is running rampant. Diabetes is a simple showing that your gut is off. You don't have the proper, and we're eating foods that don't have any microbes on them. So if you start eating these, mi these foods that are grown in this soil, right, with these microbes, the microbes get into your gut. That's, a, that's another good benefit for coming out to the garden because when you put your hand in the soil, the, so, the soil microbes end up in your gut. They help you digest your food better. You know, you can't go out there and not be affected by it. 